and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a tutorial on this rose golden blue smoky eye type going on and my friend had requested this tutorial because she is going to an event and is wearing this beautiful navy dress with a pink inlay in it. So I thought I would create this look for her to use and I really hope that she enjoys it because I am really loving it. So if you guys want to see how to achieve this look, keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is priming our face so that the foundation adheres better to our skin. So with that, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. For my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. This is a hybrid complexion perfecter with SPF of 20. Mine is in the shade Medium Light. And to apply that, I'm going to be using the Morphe E9. This is just a nice foundation brush and I enjoy using this. So we're just going to go ahead and pump that on to the brush. And then I'm going to be buffing it out with my E54 flat buffing brush. Just buff that into the skin to create that nice airbrush look. You don't want to rub it because it will smear the product and make it look streaky. So just dabbing helps to create an airbrushed finish. Okay, so now that we have our foundation buffed into the skin, I'm going to go in with my concealer. And this is the MAC Mineralize Concealer in the shade NW20. I really enjoy using this concealer because it's a little more hydrating and my under eyes definitely need some hydration. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my under eye area. And this is just going to help to lighten up this area. And we're going to put this in our T-zone. So now that we have that applied, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my wet sponge. I don't remember exactly the brand of this, but it works pretty decent. So we're just going to go ahead and buff that into the skin. And we do need to set the concealer so that it doesn't crease or move around throughout the day. So with that, I'm going to use the... RCMA No Color Powder. This powder is amazing and I always recommend it. It's $12. You can get it on beautylish.com. So I'm going to take another wet sponge and just kind of dab into the product and just set the under eye. And I'm just going to set where I put my concealer as well. And because this is for like an event, I would recommend to just kind of set the face or bake the face that way it does not budge at all. So I feel like just set really baking the chin is necessary because you touch your chin a lot. And don't forget to get your smile lines. Alright, so this is going to look pretty intense for a second, but we're going to go ahead and do our eyeshadow while it's baking, so that way if we have any fallout, we can just wipe it off. So, as always, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. This is awesome. It's great for 24 hours. So we're just going to go ahead and put some on. So as always, I always use the shade Heaven out of this palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I always use this shade just to set my eyes. Just that way it's not something too intense because we're just going to have that as the base. So with that, I'm going to be going in with my E27 Morphe Fluffy Blending Brush. And we're just going to set the eyes real quick. So now that we have our eyes set, we're going to go ahead and go in with our transition shade. Since we're doing like a rose gold blue smoky type of look, I want to go in with a cool transition color. So I'm going to go back in with that Too Faced palette and I'm going to use the shade Nude for my transition. We're just going to go ahead and buff that into the crease. And I am using the E17 Morphe brush. This is just a smaller domed blending brush. We're just going to buff it in.
Then I'm just going to go back to that E27 blending brush and blend that out. Okay, so now that we have our transition shade blended out, I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe E35 palette to do this look. Um, so we're going to be go ahead and using this nice royal blue up here with this navy blue. I'm going to take my E17 brush again. I'm just going to dip into this royal blue right here. And we're just going to go in this outer corner. And we're just going to cover about half of the lid with this color. So I'm going to go back to my blending brush and blend that out a little bit. Then we're going to go back to our E17 brush and we're going to take this nice navy blue just to deepen up the outer corners. Just lightly bring that into the crease a little bit. And then we're going to blend that out. Now I'm just going to add a smidge bit of black to it just to kind of deepen it a little bit. And then we're just going to blend that out a little bit. So now that we have our outer corners nice and blended, and then I'm going to go in with my 35U palette. This is the shimmery version from Morphe. These palettes are really amazing, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here, this nice rosy gold shade. Okay, so what I was trying to say before my camera decided to rudely cut off um, is that we were going to apply this rose gold eyeshadow, and that is from the 35U Morphe palette. This is just strictly shimmer eyeshades. So I went in with this color to intensify the shadow. I took my brush, I put some product on it, or I put the eyeshadow on it, and then I sprayed it with my setting spray. Next, we're just going to go ahead and brush all this fun stuff off my face. So I'm just going to take my E48 brush and just wipe that away. And now your makeup is not going to go anywhere for the rest of the day. So I'm just taking that extra powder and just kind of setting the rest of my face with it. Now we're just going to apply some mascara and then we're going to apply some false lashes. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This mascara is amazing. I love using it by itself, but we're just going to go ahead and curl our lashes. Now applying falsies is optional as always, but I'm going to go ahead and put them on today. I'm going to do them off camera because I'm so horrible at it. I know, but let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and used the Ardell Wispies for this look. I went ahead and tightlined my eyes with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crown. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. So just add... Just kind of focus it on that outer corner. Then I'm going to take my E36 brush and it's just this nice pencil brush. And I'm going to go back with that royal blue from the palette. Actually, I'm going to drag this all the way in. Then I'm going to go to that navy color and focus that one on my outer edge. And then I'm going to take my E18 and just blend that out a little bit. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara to my lower lash line. Alright, so now I'm going to be applying some bronzer. I am using the Hourglass, and this is the Radiant Bronze Light. 
This is a luminous bronzer and I'm going to be taking my E3 brush to apply that. contour my nose, I'm just going to go ahead and use this E15. This is just a nice flat brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my shadow play from Kat Von D and just lightly contour my nose. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Lyric from Kat Von D. And I'm just going to sharpen that up a little bit. Alright, so after bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit of blush. I'm going to be taking my MAC 127 brush. This is a foundation brush, but I like using it for blushes, actually. And I'm going to be going in with the Milani T Rose Powder Blush. And just lightly dusting that on. Next, I'm going to be going in with my favorite combination of highlighters. I'm going to be using the Becca Champagne Pop with collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. Then I'm going to be mixing that with my Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter. I don't really want to open this just because it is crumbled. Let me see if I can show you guys. <laughs> it's so sad. But I'm just going to go ahead and lightly dip into that. I'm going to take my fan brush and just lightly dip into it because it's so broken. It's so broken, and I'm just gonna put that on my face. Just gonna be a little extra today, and put that everywhere. And then we're gonna close that before I spill it, and then I'm gonna be going into the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow, and it's just beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that on top of the Champagne Pop. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera real quick and then we'll get to the lips. Alright, so once my eyebrows are finished, I'm going to go ahead and set that with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then, since I want this to be some luminous type shit, because I like having a dewy skin look, that's just my preference. So I'm going to be using the Tatcha Luminous dewy skin mist and just spray that and then we're going to be moving on to lips so i'm going to prep my lips real quick so that they're nice and hydrated for the liquid lipstick that i'm going to use on top of it so i'm going to take the josie marin 100 percent argan oil now i'm going to be using the bare minerals and the color swag You smell of this? It just smells like chocolate and it's freaking amazing. After I have put on the swag from Bare Minerals, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this Marvelous Moxie from Bare Minerals and this is in the shade Shining Star. And I'm just gonna layer that on top. Alright, so that completes this look for you guys, this rose golden blue type of thing going on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, and if you want to see any more videos, please leave your comments down below of any suggestions that you might have for me to create for you guys, and I really appreciate all the support that I have been getting from you. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any of my videos ever again. I hope you guys have a good day, and using the glam glue super mud matte